With sometimes the bleaching, like the temperature of the water and stuff, bleach it a bit, but that's not much. Usually the, the, the difference I see between the coral is like, you know, the impact from tourism. Maybe they come and kick the reef and stuff like that. For this seven years doing this, I don't see a big difference with the bleaching, you know? And yeah, we just try to keep the reef, you know, the way it is for future. My, your kids, our kids would come maybe 25 years and enjoy it still like us. Yeah, another thing, another thing with the, you know, like we got hurricane season. That change up the reef a bit sometimes, like, you know, the, the um, big waves break up some coral, but eventually, we, uh, over the years, I saw some coral already, like, drop from, like, big impact from hurricane winds and stuff. And they, they're striving, they're trying to get back. So I could see, being out here, I could see a little, like, improvement, but more constantly, they're getting more hurricane over the years. So, yeah, it's getting a little bit more uh, intense, maybe, with the hurricane and stuff like that. Right now we don't see it, but people that maybe live on the island for many years, like the older heads, they maybe see the water rising, but me, I don't see that change. Um, in Belize, the, high, the tide never go high or low, only maybe a foot or two foot the most. You never go five foot like maybe you guys in the U.S. used to. Right. So I don't think that will that is a real problem around here. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm saying the right thing, but I that's what I see. Maybe our barrier reef play a big role. You know, that's our mother nature seawall. So whatever big wave coming in, that reef break it down to like three foot, and we without the reef, maybe the island would have never been there.